Welcome to the Goldilocks Theory of Ecology. Episode T. T is for time. We have many different ways of looking at time. Albert Einstein, a famous physicist, wrote his theory describing how time is relative. In simple terms, that means that time changes in different situations. There are many different ways to tell time in different situations. We have clock time, where we use terms such as seconds, minutes, hours, and days. We have celestial time, based on the movement of planets, moons, stars, and galaxies. It uses a time frame of light years, the amount of distance it takes a particle of light to travel in one year, approximately 5,879,000,000,000 miles. Geologic time measures the ages of rocks and the changes in those rocks, often in millions and billions of years. We need to understand the past, pay attention to the present, and plan for the future. Most natural processes take time, Using all different types of measures, scientists have theories about the age of the universe, 14.5 billion years, planet Earth, 4.6 billion years, San Diego geology, 245 million years, the San Andreas Fault, 20 million years, and the last time there was no ice cap, 10,000 years ago. Biologic time is often measured in generations, stages of life cycle, and mutations. The time it takes for an egg or a seed to become a mature organism is set in its genetic code, DNA. The genetic code sets the timetable and the map of how that individual will live, make its next generation, and die. How much time does an organism need to rest? When is the best time to feed? When are your predators out and searching for you? How long will you live? How long do you need to take care of your children? These are some of the questions that an organism would ask if they had the ability to do so. We watch any habitat at different times on a single day and we see different sets of organisms each time we look. Yet if we look every day at the same time we'll see the same animals in their niches. We use different names for different times of the day. Diurnal for daylight crepuscular for sunrise and sunset, and nocturnal for nighttime. When you think about it, every part of the environment is changing every instant. Nothing stays exactly the same. Nature does not exist as a snapshot. It's a movie. Remember, it goes from the past to the future, never backwards. You can't press rewind. The cycle of life of a sunflower is three months. First, you see the shoot comes up through the ground, the stalk and leaves develop, flowers bud, flowers bloom, bees pollinate, seeds form, petals drop, seed heads fall apart, the stalk breaks off at the ground, and the seeds are pulled down by gravity to sit and wait for the next rainy warm season to start all over. The white-footed mouse lives only a year, the coyote for 12 years, the human for 80. Timing is an important part of every living thing cycle. To understand a habitat, a niche, and a species, we have to understand that time is an important part of the environmental mix.